Yeah, today in a press release, Tommy said he can't wait to get started in Arizona and that the work begins now. Mark Few also added in that press release that he wishes Tommy the best and that he has no doubts that he will lead Arizona to great success. I talked with two former Gonzaga players, Dan Dickow and Matt Santangelo today, and they both echoed Few's sentiment. Arizona is going to become uh, a big time power again on the West Coast. There you have it from the lips of Dan Dickow. And he would know, as he's been around Tommy Lloyd for nearly his whole life. Tommy had a huge impact on me. You know, it's funny because I remember growing up in Southwest Washington, I watched Tommy Lloyd play in high school. And then obviously my time at Gonzaga, my, my redshirt year, he was a student assistant who was always around. And he was instrumental, um, you know, kind of helping me work on the fine, fine tuned details of my game. And then he be, gets elevated to an assistant coach and, you know, kind of, you know, as my career was getting going and as his career was getting going, we were kind of along the same path. But it's not just Gonzaga players Tommy's had an impact on in Spokane. He was well respected at the youth level as well. Whether he was helping connect Spokane recruits to college opportunities, both inside and outside of Gonzaga, or coaching his and thus other people's kids. And he would literally be kind of drawn up plays or concepts for, you know, seventh grade girls or whatever, the, you know, whatever the case was because he liked he liked it. He, that's how his mind worked. And so I think he was, you know, like most things in Spokane, it's all very accessible. And Tommy was very accessible. For how easygoing Tommy is, his hire was anything but. Several Arizona alums over the past week were vocal about how they wanted an Arizona alum to coach the Wildcats. I asked both Dan and Matt Santangelo what they would say to the doubters. Don't be dumb. Can I tell them that? Can I say that? <laughs> you got to get behind Tommy Lloyd. And then you got to get the detractors to get behind Tommy Lloyd. So it's almost like everyone phone a friend. For the guys who were questioning um, the hire, I, I don't understand why. If you look at Tommy's track record, if you look at Gonzaga's track record, um, you know, it speaks for itself. But enough with the drama. This is Tommy's day. Here's what both Matt and Dan want to say to him. I sent Tommy a text just last me before all this happened last weekend, just saying how, like, same thing I said to you all, like, how much I admire him, how proud I am of him, how excited I am for him and his family. I hope that our paths get to cross again in some form or fashion because I really, really enjoy Tommy Lloyd. He's one of the, the people you meet that you want them to be successful because you believe in them. Tommy, uh, it's well-deserved. You've done a tremendous job of leaving no stone unturned to help Gonzaga become what it is. You've left no stone unturned to, to help yourself uh, become uh, ready for this opportunity. I, I think you're going to do a, a phenomenal job, and, and I'm going to root for you on every opportunity that I get outside of maybe when you play Gonzaga.